Uh, this is the McKay Cardio Help. Um, this is the world's smallest heart lung device and it is only 10 kilos so it's, it's used for transportation. It's used in the OR, the cath lab and the ICU. Um, we use it for heart and lungs so um, we have five different applications on it and we can look here at the five different applications. We do heart and lungs uh, together. We can do the lungs alone. We have a, a therapy called the PELP and the PELP is for CO2 removal for patients who have COPD. We have the VAD system and this is a ventricular assist device. Um, these four therapies are for 30 days approved and it is because we are heparin coated from tip to tip from the top of the cannula to the top of the next cannula. We also have the MAC system which stands for minimal extracorporeal circulation and this MAC system is used to do cabbage cases now. So um, in the OR and we're trying to move forward and to do valve cases as well, open hearts. So the cardio help is uh, all over the Middle East and we're very, uh, very proud of it. In the Middle East we did 63 cases last year and 71% success rate, very, very high rate for ECMO. Um, the two systems here are the most two that are used, the VA and the VV. And uh, we cannulate usually in the femorals and sometimes central, depending on where the patient needs the most support. We do have new indications that we're starting to see throughout the Middle East, um, such as the coronavirus, and uh, we also did a couple of poisoning cases, four poisoning cases. Um, patient took in um, aluminum phosphate and was able, their heart was uh, compromised. The unique thing about the Cardio Help, it has integrated sensors, so you can read all your labs on the touch screen. Um, your SVO2, your hemoglobin hematocrit are read through the venous probe back here. Um, and the pressures are all integrated. So we have the venous pressure, the pressure coming in, the pressure going out, arterial pressure, and the internal pressure. So, and we also have a flow probe to know exactly how much we're giving the patient and a bubble sensor. We also are the only company that has a hand crank for an ECMO system. So just in case the battery runs out, which is 90 minutes, so it's very important.